Hey, what's up everybody? Why now I am at LAX International Airport in Los Angeles traveling with the brand new Apple Vision Pro. Uh, there's a hype on the internet said that this is the best thing to travel with, like the Vision Pro. So I'm gonna try it actually in real life, in real world to see if the hype is true or not. Uh, and I'm gonna share with you some tips and tricks to travel with this thing uh, in public as well if TSA did not tackle me. So yeah, let's check it out. Travel with the Apple Vision Pro. Hey, what's up everybody? I just arrived at my terminal and got ready to board. I just want to share with you some of the tips and tricks on like before you travel, get on the plane. First, make sure you download your movie. Like in here on Apple TV, I also download some 3D movie on my Disney Plus before I travel. So I have Avatar The Way of Water and Aladdin. And those are 3D movie. I don't know, enjoy 3D movie and again if you want to don't see the airport you can always turn on oh my god look at that I'm in space right now I still hear the airport thing uh, but I am in the space so see uh, I can like turn it on and off the space and also make sure that one thing I need to show you guys very important before I actually get on the playlist Turn on digital crown, look up, look up right here, let's turn on travel mode. Uh, right here in the setting menu, right here, here, this is a travel mode. Turn on the travel mode when you are moving vehicle, actually moving plane, we gotta be on the plane, so we gotta be moving, so turn on that, but don't use that when you're driving, by the way. Uh, turn on travel mode, and then you can also turn on airplane mode when you're on the airplane, but actually we got Wi-Fi on JetBlue, so we are gonna keep airplane mode on to this travel. So yeah, uh, that is what you should do before you get on the plane. Just make sure they connect to airport Wi-Fi down the movie you want. If not, because there's no internet on an airplane and you can't watch any 2D movie and they're usually actually very big. So down it ahead of time before you come to the airport or if you forgot, down in the airport using airport Wi-Fi. Okay, so now it's time for me to board on the JetBlue. So I will see you on the plane. Yeah, on the plane right now. Yeah. How do you like it? Love it. Yeah, is it awesome? Yeah, it's amazing to try it. You. Right here. Sweet. Let's be real. People will think you are weird on the plane for sure and want to avoid you at all costs. But on the bright side, I get a whole row all by myself because both people sat next to me request to sit somewhere else. They don't want to sit next to me with my Vision Pro on. So this is definitely an upside of wearing a Vision Pro on a plane like a weirdo. Just do it. Who care other thing about you? I guarantee you very soon this will become a TikTok trend and a normal thing to do on a plane. So. The number one tip you need to know regarding traveling with the Vision Pro is to turn on travel mode before the plane starts to move. If not, the sensor and the tracking will be all glitched out. Hand tracking and eye tracking will not work correctly and it's extremely hard to turn on travel mode when the plane is in motion. Don't make the same mistakes. After travel mode is on, tracking is all funky and weird. Basically, it is recommended to not move your head too much and don't look outside of the windows. Close the blinds if you can and look straight. The lost tracking warning message will be disappear if you do that. For those of you spatial video creators, when in travel mode, you cannot film 3D spatial video. I really want to capture the moment my plane take off in 3D, but the lost tracking warning message keeps stopping the capture, so you better off use your iPhone 15 Pro to capture that magical moment. When the plane took off in the sky, I tried to play mixed reality game like the Synth Rider immediately, but it does not work correctly, so no spatial game went up in the air. Now let's try to watch some 3D movies on Disney+. Plus. After several minutes, the plane hit a turbulent and that is when I start to feel very sick. I have a pretty strong tolerance on VR motion sickness, 
but even I get sick watching a 3D movie on a moving plane. Here are some tips to avoid motion sickness and I strongly recommend anyone trying to watch movie on Vision Pro in the air should follow. Number 1. Turn your 360 environment all the way. When there is stable background as the visual anchor, you will feel a lot stable mentally. Second, try to keep your head as straight as steady as possible. Relax on your seat, lean back if your chair allows you to do so, and get comfortable. Number three, do not bring your screen very close to your face. That requires you to move your head to watch. Moving your head will risk losing track and break your movie experience. The goal is to minimize head movements. Number four, go without saying. Use an AirPod or Bluetooth headphone so your neighbor do not hate you or worse, call the air muscle on you so you bend from flying for life. Number five, if you are easy to get motion sick, avoid watching 3D movies like Avatar Way of Water or immersive movie like Adventure on the Plane. 3D with motion with different frame rate will for sure get you sick. Watch regular 2D movie until you get used to watching things inside Vision Pro. The last thing you want is to have a bad experience on Vision Pro for the first time. Next thing I try is Mindfulness, the meditation app on Vision Pro. Oh, that was painful. It is everything but relaxing to be honest. I can feel my stomach getting sick and I can only last for 3 minutes max. So, I don't recommend meditation on a moving plane with the Vision Pro. Just use the airplane bathroom, put my Vision Pro on, on a moving plane. That was some experience. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure this is the first time everybody actually like travel with the Vision Pro on an airplane bathroom. Uh, so I got a flash again because things right there. It doesn't work. Amazing. Okay, now I gotta find my seat. Yeah, yeah, I know. Whew. That was some journey. Dude, it's fun. Fun journey. Okay, let's back to work, guys. The third thing I try is spatial computing. Editing this video on a moving plane with Vision Pro. The good news is, Apple Vision Pro can successfully connect to my M3 MacBook Pro on a moving plane in airplane mode, which is great. It took me a couple tries. The way to make it worse is both my MacBook and my Vision Pro are connected to the airplane Wi-Fi. JetBlue, which is the airline I fly, has internet. But I did not pay for the internet just for reference. I just used the same Wi-Fi connection so my MacBook and Vision Pro can talk to each other. You still need to keep your head pretty sturdy. If not, the lost tracking warning message will show up. I'm very skeptical on spatial computing during travel, but it surprisingly works really well. I can really focus on the plane ride and get a lot done. From Los Angeles to Florida is around 4 hours keep or take. I quickly realized my Vision Pro running out of battery pretty fast. So I have this power bank right here can provide quick charging to my Vision Pro battery. Just to show you, my power bank supply 30 watt hour power into my Vision Pro battery. If you want a power bank to provide the same voltage to quickly charge your Vision Pro on the go. This is like an outlet for my Vision Pro and let it run for more than 5 hours. Pretty impressive. With this setup, battery life is never an issue for me and it is a lot cheaper than getting two Vision Pro batteries. That was a long fly and I just landed. Uh, thanks to Vision Pro, I actually got a full row of seats. Just kidding, uh, I mean, thanks to Vision Pro, I can really focus to get a lot of things done. Actually cutting this video, so I get my rough cut done. So uh, I hope you learned something. Uh, if you like this video, do consider giving this video a thumb up. Uh, if you're new here, do subscribe because we gotta have a daily Vision Pro tips and immersive filmmaking tutorial coming up very soon. 
every day. So, so yeah, definitely subscribe. And yeah, uh, if you think this is helpful to your friend as well, share it to your friend because motion sickness is no joke. So if you can share this video, help them get rid of motion sickness on the Vision Pro, uh, you know, they will be thank you for doing that, right? Uh, if you want to watch more immersive video, go check out the playlist right here and I will see you in the next video. Ciao guys.